podcast stuff. Hey, <laughs> what's up? So, yeah, it's the spookiest time of the year, right? Um, you know, the time where spiders and skeletons and, like, monsters get together and just hashtag chill. So let's dive into the spooky chill mood with every single figure of bludgeon that I got in my collection. <laughs> but first, you know, uh, if you're not already, click on that subscribe button down there. Like the video, leave a comment, tell your friends. Um, <laughs> do all the things, right? It really helps me out in some nebulous way. And with that shameless plug out of the way, let's get spooky. <laughs> first up, the first one. So our boy Bludgeon started out life as a pretender. Um, I think I don't I'm not super up on the lore, but I think this is the first one that he had. Um <laughs> just a skeleton samurai man. Pretty cool. Love the love the colors he's got going on. Orange and brown, orange and gray <laughs> and like a maroony color. That's great. White face for a skull, you know? It's pretty it's all right. I wouldn't want it any other way. It pops. It's nice. His hat comes off and, you know, he's got no hair, as I would expect of a skeleton. He's got neck meat, which is pretty weird, right? Check that out. It's, it's weird, right? <laughs> don't know what that's about, but I'm here for it. I like it. I don't have any of the swords. I could get replacements, but I didn't. I think he's cool the way he is. He's got like a soft rubbery thing going on with the arms. Soft rubber for the, the hat, too. It's pretty good. He snaps in half to reveal uh, that he's empty on the inside. Same. <laughs> but not entirely dissimilar to myself. Um, just like I can buy toys to fill that void, he can put a tank in there. <laughs> it's a weird little tank, you know? It's brown and green and uh, purple. This whole top part is a repro piece. I thought it was important to have the tank be tank-like uh, in my collection. So it's just, it's just, just resin or something. I don't know. It gets the job done. You can extend his little leggies and make him taller. He's got arms and legs and like a little face painted in there. He's looking great. What can I say? But yeah, together, they make a pretty cool set. I, I dig it. Jumping back to the shell for a second. His arms can move up and down. That's about it. It's pretty cool. I mean, a spooky. Uh, but yeah, here he is with some other figures. And on to the next one. Next up. The Creo one. So this is, um, <laughs> it's a little guy, right? Look at him. Oh my God, he's so great. No green, but, but maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there was some accessories that, that I don't have anymore. Uh, he's got these treads that connect to his arm. It's pretty cool. But yeah, he just looks like a generic Lego skeleton man under a helmet. It's pretty cool. Legs are the right color. Helmet and arms are the right color, but everything else is pretty much whatever. Um, yeah, I'm not mad to have him. Don't really care about him. He's fine. <laughs> he's all right he, he could stay here he is with the last one and here he is with some other figures uh yep on to on to the next one <laughs> next up the prime master titans return one so check him out he's tiny he's uh orange and purple look at he's just ah oh, he steals my heart every time i look at him he's great oh my god he's got metallic pants love it decepticon logo is looking sick he's got a tooth gap He's so fashionable. He's great. Turns into a tube with Doctor Who's phone booth on top. It's awesome, man. And you can even open him up and there's a little guy in there. It doesn't look like the little guy that was in the original one, but I'm kind of just happy that we got little guys going inside the other slightly, <laughs> slightly bigger little guys. So would I have loved it to be green? Yes. Is it a deal breaker that it's not green? No. <laughs> but if they ever want to do a high quality version of these, I'll take it. But for now adorable his arms move up and down that's about it he can become a gun like i said earlier a doctor who gun <laughs> uh, but yeah here he is with the other ones spooky right uh here he is with some other figures and on to the next one here we go next up the custom titans return prime master uh, one so this is a custom i did years ago like uh pr probably close to 10 years ago like it's crazy at this point but he's he's pretty simple he's just uh who's that guy who's the tank man uh, he goes like, bing, bang, bang, zoom. What's that guy's name? Oh my God, I'm blanking so hard right now. Um, he's, he's red and like white or gray. Warpath. There we go. <laughs> oh man, I am so tired. <laughs> I wish, I wish, I wish to sleep, but no, we have work to do. So do you notice that I made his, his gun purple? Isn't that awesome? 
I thought it was awesome at the time. <laughs> it's kind of just like, yeah, it's all right. But I mean, the the new one that just came out didn't have anything colored that way. So I guess we're abandoning the like the lilac purple, right? I, I always love a pop of purple. Never going to say no to that. But no purple to be found, unfortunately, on the new one. But we'll get to we'll get to that in a second. Sorry. Uh, but this one I painted. I, I, t <laughs> I took I don't even know where I got the head from. I think it might be Shapeways. Do you guys know where this is from? Because I don't. <laughs> it's been too long. I was kind of like meh on this one after I uh, finished it. I was like, oh, it looks so bad. But now looking back on it, it's fine. It's totally fine. Let me know if you think it's fine. If you think it's anything worse than fine, don't say anything. <laughs> but if it's fine, tell me it's fine. Uh, he's got his, his colors all over the place. He's got orange. He's got different orange. He's got some red. He's got some green. And this beautiful purple. That's that's pretty much it. I'm into it. I look back fondly on this. This is pretty cool. Articulation's all still there. Here he is with the last ones. And here he is with some other figures. Spooky as hell. Next up, the Collector's Club one. So, you know, this is perfection, right? We can all agree that this is goddamn perfection. Holy shit, dude. He's got all the colors. He's got the face. He's got the purple on the back. He's got a hidden head in his butt. This dude is living the life, man. He is living that pretender life. And I'm here for it, man. I love every thing about this guy. The figure's great. It's not loose at all in any way. It's still strong as hell. Colors haven't faded. It's a beautiful thing. Everything's vibrant. Everything's crisp. Everything's amazing. It's going to be a boring review because I'm absolutely in love with this thing. It's so good. Could it use an ankle tilt? Yeah. But I mean, it was Combiner Wars. Like, <laughs> we were just getting into the era that we are in now, you know? I feel like that was really a big transition for Transformers, going to this, like, different level of design, right? You, you got to make things that aren't just toys, but interact with other toys in the line, and then make something better than themselves, you know? So good. But anyway, yeah, this guy rules. Um, if any of you guys have him, you know how much he rules. I hope, unless I'm, <laughs> unless I'm totally an outlier here. I, I think people like this, right? I'm all over this. Yeah. <laughs> here he is with the other ones i love it i love everything about it look how he stands out but also fits in perfectly oh my god it's amazing but yeah here he is with some other figures and on to the last one the new boy hell yeah let's do it next up the legacy evolution one so this one's just so good guys holy shit i haven't opened my tarn yet i really gotta get on that i don't know what's taking me so long but man this is impressive for like what is it 25 dollars 20 29? How much are Voyagers now? Is this a Voyager? <laughs> Help, I'm lost. I love this. The colors are great. The articulation is smart and purposeful. He's got great ankles, great knees, great hips, great waist. He's great, great head sculpt. It's all good. Most of him is actually cast in clear, it looks like, which is insane and then painted. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But it comes off as like very, very close to perfect for me, at least. This is like, I see it. I don't know that it would turn into a vehicle of any kind. It's like, it like blows my mind. It's so, I'm here for it. I'm into it and I'm impressed by it. You know, there's pretty much nothing that I want it to do that it can't do. It's, it's really something, you know, like almost all of my needs are met. I can't even think of one that isn't met. Maybe if he had like an opening and closing mouth, but still like, this is fine. He looks possessed, you know? <laughs> Comes with a sword, comes with two guns and some kind of like connector gun for his tank mode. Tank mode looks like this, by the way. Yeah, it's just great. <laughs> I don't, do, have, do you guys have this yet? Are you blowing up about it? Because I don't really see a lot of hype about this. Again, I have an open Tarn. I'm sure Tarn people went crazy for Tarn, but I haven't opened Tarn yet. Um, I don't know. This is like, I'm blown away. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's the skeleton's curse. <laughs> but yeah, uh, here they all are together. Super into it. Love him. Um, <laughs> here he is with some some other figures. And that's it. That's all of my got. Bludgeons. Spooky, right? Um, <laughs> it's nothing spookier than a haunted skeletal samurai robot that usually turns into a weapon of war. You know? That's pretty top tier for spooky. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys think? you have a favorite from this bunch? Which ones? Which one do you like the most? Or the least? Tell me, tell me what, what's your preference. Mine's got to be a tie between the Legacy Evolutions one and the F the Collectors Club fan botcon one. F Fun Pub? Is that who made them? I don't know. But these two? Holy shit, dude. I think this one's better for articulation, but the style, the love and admiration that went into the other one. Holy shit. I'm just so into it. 
It's nuts. But speaking of good stuff, right? But you know what's apparently not so good? Um, the Super 7 Ultimate's bludgeon. Like, look at this video. <laughs> it's a floppy mess, dude. What, 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 could, what could have happened? I have so many, like, Ultimates figures and none of them are floppy. But apparently bludgeon is floppy? Why? Wonder what happened there. Like, you guys know, right? I love Super 7. I love all their silly endeavors. But, man, I've never seen a figure that bad straight out, like, the box. <laughs> that's crazy, right? I mean, I mean, spooky, right? Ooh. But anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment, Instagram, Twitter. You know what to do. Uh, be safe out there if you're going out for Halloween. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> raise some hell. Do what you got to do. But within reason. Uh, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.